Tell them this is Tell them this is Tell them we come on, we go in. Similar to chocolate. It is, it is exactly that. You know, um, a lot of research goes into it. Once the research is done and we put down drawings, drawings are done, and then the drawings are handed over to people like myself, Anton Dean, Jawan Clark, and we start building, okay? And we do a rendition of those drawings and we bring them to life. And what you see before you is what you get from those drawings. Now we're working on carnival costumes. Um, what exactly is it that you're doing now? Right now I'm already traced um, the desired pattern onto what we call white foam. I'm actually cutting out a front piece design that I just made a little earlier. I'm going to make about two of these tonight and in about one hour you should see the final product. So it takes nice wow an hour for you to get a carnival costume versus three months to get a Junkanoo costume? Well, um, a costume this size in Junkanoo will probably take you anywhere from a week to two weeks to complete. Um, Trinidad, well, tri not Trinidad, but carnival costume. The human made will take you about one hour. I've noticed that the Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival costumes are built like Junkanoo costumes. They're more elaborate than an average um, carnival costume. Tell us a little bit about the building process. Well, um, these costumes are what we call um, lifetime costumes. They're made from materials that are everlasting. For example, in Junkanoo, everything we use is made from destructive materials like cardboard that can easily be destroyed, you know, um, by weather, etc. These costumes are made from plastics, um, waterproof materials, and so they are, they, are, they are everlasting. And so, you know, with the designers coming in, giving us our pointers on how to construct, you know, how to color, you know, it's been a, a tremendous opportunity for us as, as the human designers, you know, to, to, to pull this class off. Uh, we all meet together some days and we do production as far as making costumes are concerned. But when it comes to the organizations such as FATS, stuff that are uh, like the road, ra the road ready stuff that we do, a lot of the promotional stuff, the sail away that's coming up, that comes under my umbrella of responsibilities. So um, it's a lot of work, yes, but it's a lot of fun. So it's not really worth what you think about it. Uh, this evening they've done a phenomenal job 
and we could not ask for them support. Well, of course, um, me being a jungle designer, um, we're going to take the fundamentals of jungle and just apply it to the different type of materials that we use for carnival. Um, the only difference is, is that, like I said earlier, um, the materials that we use in junk canoe is a bit different. Um, junk canoe is a little primitive, and um, these new materials that are allowed in carnival because there are no rules that is restricting us for using any type of material we want to use for carnival. In junk canoe, we have so many rules. You know, and your costume has to be 75% um, pasted with any type of paper and all that kind of stuff. As in carnival, there are no rules. You're free to use any type of material that you want to use as an artist. And so your expression, um, you know, of your designs are, are you know, are more, are more vast, you know. A design like myself, there's no limit to what I can do with this yeah. material. You know, this was cardboard. I have probably been using a sharp edge tool like a razor or a cut or a knife or something. You know? Look how nice that is. <clears throat> Color is already there, almost ready to go. Do you tr do you replace culture with evolution? Your culture will always be a culture. Like, like in Jonkuna, you know, Jonkuna we started off with a lot of primitive materials. And now, you know, we're using a lot of sterile foam in Jonkuna. This foam, this type of foam is coming in Jonkuna. You know, a lot of weatherproof, you know, type material is coming in Jonkuna because Jonkuna, the costume is so easily destroyed by weather. Can't hold up in the draft, can't hold up in the rain. You know, and so this material is gonna. I think it's gonna go far in Jonkunu, and it's gonna last a bit longer. You know, can't fade like cray paper. I don't know who came up with the cray paper. Someone gave someone a sheet of cray paper. They decided to cut up in a bunch of small strips and laid one one. I don't know. I don't know the person who decided to do that, but they put me back a million years when they did that. And then they expect for me to follow that. That needs to get out of the jungle. This is what you need. Fabric. Sad part about it, fabric is cheaper than paper. And we use in a more expensive material like paper but don't last long. And fabric is much cheaper. My organization, we spend about $15,000 on, on jungle paper yearly. If I was to buy $15,000 bolts of fabric. I love fabric for years and it goes a long way. The paper we cut it up and we put it on top of each other. That's wasting paper. This stuff I'm spreading this out. You know this was cray paper. This would have been a million lines on top of each other. What is jumping? What is going on what do you think about the fears that people have in regards to Carnival taking over Junkanoo? Carnival can't take over Junkanoo. Man. Junkanoo is Junkanoo. Junkanoo has been around for 400 years. You know, Junkanoo is Bahamian. Junkanoo is the spirit of the Bahamas, the heartbeat of the Bahamas. It's uh, it's this a celebration. Is, you know, all the noise in the market about Junkanoo, and no one ever applied for the copyright. And so I was the first minister to apply for, this is the official letter sent to the Attorney General and UNESCO, United Nations Education Scientific Convention for the copyright of the cultural expression of Junkanoo. That as you are aware, the government of the Bahamas has recently signed on to United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organizations 2003 convention for the safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage. Therefore, I should be grateful if you would kindly seek to have the cultural expression of Junkanoo copyrighted to the exclusive domain of the Ministry of Sports and Culture and the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Really? So we have an official copy. So the Bohemian culture of Junkanoo is actually copyrighted. To the Ministry of Culture, 
and the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. <laughs> Back in the house. Oh, First of all, the government of Bahamas had this beautiful idea that we need to take uh, our culture junkanoo um, to another level in terms of um, economics. And so the idea of carnival came about, um, Carnival being um, a platform where local talents um, can express themselves um, and bringing um, monetary funds as it relates to their art and culture, okay? And so, me being a jungle designer, you know, it, I, was, I was blown away about the idea and I said, hey, this is something I need to be a part of, okay? And so, I called the king and I said, King, you know, this is one of your dreams. You know, this, this dream really came from Mr. Percy Bola Francis and, and Mr. Vincent Gus Cooper, um, God bless his soul. And um, these two gentlemen are the giants of Junkanoo. And so, you know, they've put their heart and soul into the art of Junkanoo and culture. And um, you know, this is an outlet for us um, um, behind them to really be able to embrace our culture and, and gain you know, a lot of rewards in what we do um, from, from our local talent and from our art designs. And so that's what Carnival is really about, you know, expressing yourself and at the end of the day being compensated for it. And so this is a new forum for us as it relates to Chonkanu. And so the emergence of Carnival came about and you know, Chonkanu Carnival is gonna be something great whereas in the years to come, this is gonna explode into a, a great phenomenon. Do it like you say I'm ridiculous, yeah. You say we're ridiculous, yeah. We too ridiculous. As a real good girl, always home, don't go nowhere As soon as I was introduced to Carnival They say I lose So much woman whining in Tell me you want to mm -hmm. Tell me you want to yeah. hey. ah. Every day is sweat, I come out to sweat I bet I'm sweating more than you It's sweat, I come out to sweat I went to sweating more than you I'm talking it. 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 I'